Everybody seems to be traveling these days, which is awesome, but at the same time, traveling on planes can wreak havoc on your skin. Imagine the skin that you've worked so hard to get clear or to get glowing and having that ruined within the duration of your flight. If you are getting on a plane anytime soon and if you care about your skin, you need to see this video. It is going to teach you the three things that you can do to prevent bad skin on planes while traveling and also give you some of my favorite product recommendations. When it comes to flights, you need to pack your bags. The ones that you're going to put under the plane and the ones on your face as well. Under eye bags tend to flare up more on planes than anywhere else and there's a combination of reasoning behind this. The first one, which is kind of obvious and probably the hardest to treat, is the fact that you're tired, especially if you're switching time zones or jumping from one country to another. Being sleepy will definitely have an impact on your under eye area and can cause puffiness or purpleness. Planes also use purified recycled air. When you're 35,000 feet up in the sky, there is not enough oxygen outside the plane to keep everybody alive. So they recycle and purify the air, meaning it is extraordinarily drying. Day to day, when we're outside hanging out, the human Humidity levels are normally between 40 and 60%. When you're on a plane, that humidity level, the amount of moisture in the air, can drop down to almost 10%, which means wrinkles, it means drying, and it means very irritated skin and under eyes. Instead of freaking out about purple puffiness post-flight, try to say that five times fast, you can prevent it in the first place with a super hydrating under eye mask. One of my personal favorites is the Hydrogel Under Eye Mask from Muesli. Of course it's cruelty free and it contains grapeseed oil and wheat germ oil, which help to de-stress and de-puff under eyes before they even happen. They also have de-puffing and potent tartaric acid, which is an AHA acid that is amazing for skin. I've done a video explaining AHA versus BHA acids and how they can help your face. So if that term doesn't make any sense to you, feel free to go check out that video and learn a little skin science. Sometimes I use under eye products or sheet masks and they literally fall off my face. These actually stay in place, which I really appreciate. Which means if you've got your head on a pillow, these will stay on overnight or over flight. Next let's talk about what happens during flight. As the flight attendants are pushing that little snack cart down the aisle and the kid three rows back is screaming his head off because he wants chocolate, your skin is silently begging for a treat too. <laughs> Like we mentioned, the humidity on the plane is really, really low and your skin is probably suffering. This means one of two things. Number one, it's either getting super dry, which can cause premature wrinkling, a little bit of papering, and of course dehydration and flaking. Or number two, your skin is overcompensating for all that dryness and starting to pump out oil, just like my favorite Chinese restaurant, and literally soaking your skin in efforts to rehydrate it. It's time to give your skin a little helping hand, but instead of just reaching for a moisturizer, reach for a night mask. These on average are three times more hydrating than a regular moisturizer. Night masks are usually infused with more potent and penetrative ingredients to really help plump up skin and even help facilitate skin's natural repair. Whereas a moisturizer will just moisturize, night masks are meant to be worn overnight. So they're actually delivering those minerals, those nutrients, and those beneficial ingredients for a full eight hours or whatever the duration of your flight is. One of my favorite night masks is the hydrating one from Cosmetics. This stuff is literally a waterfall for your face in a small little gray tube. This stuff is amazing and it goes on in kind of like a gel-like texture. It really absorbs into the skin, but not just the top layers. Sometimes if you apply a moisturizer, it just kind of gets those top layers hydrated. This actually penetrates all the way into the skin, nourishing many of the deeper layers to keep your skin hydrated long-term. You can keep this on overnight or over flight and you don't even have to wash it off in the morning. Cosmetics is also a brand that combines science and nature to create beauty. They are personally one of my favorite brands and what I use while traveling. Especially recently, I took a trip to Sweden with a little stopover in Finland, and it was in the middle of the winter, so it was freezing on top of that recycled dry air. This absolutely saved my skin. Post-flight, it is time to deboard and rebalance. You might need to find a real meal and get a little bit of a cell phone charge, but your skin also needs some recovery. Our skin naturally has a pH, which you might have learned about in chemistry class. pH stands for potential hydrogen, a scale that measures the acidity or how alkaline, otherwise known as basicness, which is not the basicness of your pumpkin spice latte. We're talking about products, acids, 
acids and basically anything that you could be putting on your skin. Our skin naturally likes to hang out at about a 5.5, but after a flight that balance can get thrown off. Certain products, environmental toxins, or even like the sun and the humidity can actually change our skin's pH. And if our skin's pH gets too out of balance, it can wreak havoc on our skin. From serious things like lines around the mouth, wrinkling by the eyes, and even DNA damage, to stuff that's just frustrating, such as breakouts or dry skin. Being out of balance can mean bad news for your face. Cute help in seat 9A. <laughs> Toners are a product that's usually part of everybody's skincare routine, but not a lot of people actually know their purpose. The purpose of a toner is to rebalance the pH of your skin and to make your serums and moisturizers penetrate deeper. This is essential to know and essential to use once you get off that flight. Especially post-flight, after hours of flying or stepping into the climate of a new city, it is time to hit reset on your face with a toner. My personal favorite way to do this is to put a toner into a TSA-friendly spray bottle, meaning under three ounces, and just spritz this as a refresh on your face. The one thing you need to look out for is make sure that your toner doesn't have alcohol. Beauty companies are out there to help us, but unfortunately some are just out there to make a quick buck and will actually sell us things that are not beneficial to our skin. If your toner has alcohol in it, it can dry out your skin if it's not the right kind of alcohol. My personal recommendation is to try to play it safe and always look for a toner that's alcohol free. My two favorite picks are the Glow Tonic from Pixie Beauty, as well as the essence from Juice Beauty. This has a base of aloe vera, which is extraordinarily soothing to skin. Maybe when you were a kid, your mom used to rub aloe vera on you after a sunburn. At least mine did. Well, the same concept applies here. It's very soothing to your skin and can help rehydrate. This one also has a bunch of other healthy plant botanicals, which means it rebalances your skin, helps to hydrate a little bit, and it's also the perfect prep for makeup. Bonus tip, don't forget your lips. Our lips tend to get dry and even cracky when we fly, but a lot of people go for products that just kind of seal what's on the outside and create like a film over the lips. Instead, look for products that actually hydrate your lips. Good things to look for are shea butter or omega oils that are actually going to plump them up from the inside. And again, instead of sitting on the top, hydrate from the inside out. My personal favorite lip balm is from Pacifica Beauty because it actually has a jojoba base, which is amazing for lips. Not to mention they come in a lot of fun flavors. Flavors? Scents? I don't really know what that terminology is for chapstick and lip balms, but um, they smell nice, okay? <laughs> I am planning a few fun upcoming trips and I am going to be doing meet and greets in those areas, but if you haven't noticed from the past, I post a notification about a meet and greet, whether in San Francisco, New York, or a foreign country, and then I delete it. So if you're part of the post notification squad, you will see those when they happen. Be sure to turn those notifications on if you don't want to miss them, otherwise they'll be lost in the ether. They will have taken flight. Think about your next upcoming trip, and as you're packing your bags, be sure to throw these in some travel-friendly containers into your purse or your carry-on as well. Also share with me in the comments, what is your next trip going to be, and are you going alone or with someone else? If you are going with a family member or with a friend or a significant other, you see that little white arrow in the top right-hand corner? Click that and it'll let you text or email this video directly to them. We always want to take care of the people that we love and this video could help the person that you're traveling with keep their skin in check. So pass the kindness forward and pass this video on. So when it comes to travel, you don't need to let a vacation or a trip ruin your skin. If you do have skin on your face that you want to take care of, I hope that you learned something from these. Be sure to let me know if you did. Maybe I'll be coming to a city near you in the near future, so stay tuned. And if you do want to see a little bit more of my travel, feel free to check out Instagram or some of the travel videos that I've posted here, whether it's from India or Boston or Sweden or some of those other fun places around the world. I love you guys so much, and whether it's on the ground or in the air, I cannot wait to see you guys soon. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.